Simona Halep has climbed to the top of world tennis, winning two Grand Slam titles along the way. But now she faces the biggest battle of her life after having been found guilty of taking performance-enhancing drugs. It's been quite a year for you, a year out of the game. Describe to me, if you can, what's your state of mind right now? Well, it's been actually more than one year already, and uh, every day it felt like very painful, very emotional, uh, hurtful, because um, I know I didn't do anything wrong and I know I'm clean. So it was a shock when I uh, received the letter that uh, my urine test, only the urine test, came out positive with actually an extremely low quantity of uh, substance, banned substance. I've been always against doping and, uh, you know, I've been loud as well about this, so didn't even cross my mind in my whole life to do something like this. So it was a shock. Um, I struggled with the emotional part because it's been uh, very heavy on my shoulders and seeing this so much public, it was um, really affected my, uh, my mental health for sure. Well, you've received an enormous amount of support uh, online, uh, not surprisingly, from, because you're one of the world's most popular uh, sports stars, but also a lot of detractors as well. How have you reacted to that? Well, the support has been amazing. Um, the fans were supporting me unconditionally, which means a lot, it means huge to see the people, even if I face the worst moment in my life as an athlete, uh, I know I'm clean. I received tons of messages, good messages, and the biggest thing is that I never faced a person mm -hmm. who tells me something negative. So all of them were positive, and this gave me the strength to keep fighting every day, to clear my name and to show that I didn't do anything wrong. Mm -hmm. The players also, which are opponents, they also showed their support, and I really appreciate it because it means a lot. We are fighting on court, and when you are in the worst situation, uh, they are there and they support you. Also, the legends, uh, I had such a big support from, uh, from legends in tennis, and they were also publicly uh, spoken about me, and this means a lot. They were supporting me full, and it's, it's great, it's huge. Everything helps me to stay strong in these difficult times and to fight to, to clear my name. Uh, we've had also the International Tennis Integration Agency say that you know, three different panels of experts have said that you intentionally took this performance-enhancing drug. Um, what's going to be your defence? Well, yeah, um, they said that, but uh, it's very clear that it was a contamination. Three days before the positive urine test, I was negative blood and urine. So uh, I've been told at the beginning that it's a very, it's extremely low quantity of uh, this substance, banned substance. And in those three days, I could not have doped. Uh, it was not my intention and never has been the intention to, to do something wrong or something disrespectful to this sport because I have respected everything and uh, I dedicated my life. My principles are not like this, so I didn't think to cheat in tennis. The two things that uh, the contamination, I think it's very strong for me. And uh, the second one, the blood, uh, I had many, many tests and all of them were negative. So they never found anything wrong in my, in my blood. So with these two things, I feel confident going and facing tests. Do you trust the process though? Yeah, I think it's way too long to wait for an athlete, professional athlete. Mm -hmm. I accepted I had nothing to do against this and now I'm looking forward in February and finally I will have the final decision. Some of the, the criticisms that, that have been levelled against you and uh, some of those have also come against uh, your team as well. Patrick Moratoglu, perhaps the most high-profile tennis coach in the world. Uh, he's come out now in the last month and said, you know, admitted responsibility saying, yes, our team got it wrong. You did have this contaminated collagen. What's the relationship like between you and him now? It's true that he went out. I wish he could have done that a little bit earlier. Uh, I have stopped working with, uh, with the academy since a while already. Um, I'm just, uh, you know, when I found myself in this situation, um, it was difficult to manage because I have always trusted in my teams previous teams and everybody that I work with because I felt like 
trusting, you have a better chance to perform at your maximum. And I always been open to learn from people. That's why you hire people because you need information. You need to be better. Mm -hmm. So I always trusted this, and my trust is broken a little bit right now. Mm -hmm. And um, in the future, I don't know how it's gonna be mm -hmm. if. I can trust again and probably I have to learn because this is my principle in life. If you hire somebody and you work with uh, that person, you have to trust. Sure. And when's the last time you two spoke? Not very soon, like <laughs> a few months ago. Um, if the court of arbitration does, the decision goes against you, will this effectively be the end of your career? I think so, yeah, yeah. because four years uh, is going to be a lot for my age at least, and uh, for an athlete that has done 25 years every day this thing and dedicate this, uh, the life for, for tennis and for sport, um, I don't know how it's going to be, but uh, it's catastrophic if it's going to be four years, and um, I don't know how I will handle it. Um, probably it's going to be end of career, yes. Okay. And for something that I didn't do and that is not my fault, it's even more catastrophic. Yeah. Well, you remain a national hero in your native Romania and beyond, uh, for sure. You know, lots of people are going to be watching this interview. Young people are going to be watching this interview. What message would you have for them? Well, for the kids, uh, the only thing I can say is that uh, they have to dream big. I think this is the most important thing, to visualize yourself with the big trophies. Of course, you never know what is going to happen in life, but if you dedicate yourself to sport if you are disciplined if you work hard and if you have the passion the big passion for this sport i think you are able one day to lift those trophies i did this and i can share this with them they have to have the courage to trust themselves and to go forward i know some days are difficult because you don't feel like going there, you feel tired, you feel exhausted, you feel depressed sometimes. But if you push yourself and you go on court in those days, the step is huge. And I wish them good luck and to trust in themselves, to have the confidence inside them. Okay, now, before I let you go, uh, if we do look uh, ahead into the future and the uh, ruling from the Court of Arbitration for Sport is positive in your favour, Will you be back here in Paris, perhaps, for the Olympics? Of course. This is my yeah. dream. I know yeah. there are not big chances for this, but uh, I'm dreaming of this because Paris is my dream city. I won Roland Garros here when I was junior, so everything mm -hmm. started very early. Mm -hmm. uh, and it will be amazing to be back on court, no matter what. But I just want to be on court because there I belong. And I feel like I want to do it again. Simone Halep, thank you for this interview. Thank you too for listening and for talking to me. No problem.